They will then go into the cheese or certainly cause the cheese to open up and have more mould. What you've got on the outside of these cheeses is that lovely mould garden. And there are things that like to eat that mould. Cheese mite. Mites? Yeah. So the kind of mites that you, you, you find in the garden, tiny little spider mites, those types of oh, things? Oh, even tinier. Tiny, weeny, weeny. I mean, you can't, you can't see that they're individual little creatures. They're eating the cheese or eating the rind. What, what are they doing? In the right balance, they're just walking through the mould garden that's sitting on the outside of a traditional cheese, helping to form the rind. They're an important part of cheese making. Yeah, they Let's really are. Let's have a look are. at these critters then. Where yeah. are they? Look. The cheese is alive with mites, in a way, keeping your mould under control. Yeah. So if you get too many, they will start eating away, not just at the moulds, which is really helpful, but they will actually start eating into the rind and then into the cheese themselves. So 